one of my fondest memories of my dad and my oldest sister was the time that I first learned how to roller skate. He said, you know, I want you to hold onto the wall and skate along, and he verbally described what I should try to do as far as putting my weight on one foot and then switching to the other. I can also remember a time that when I was seven or eight years old, when I asked him to take my training wheels off my bike, and he said, well, you know, it's a lot different when you take off the training wheels because you have to go at a little faster speed. I misjudged things, and I actually ended up in our small swimming pool on my bike. So <laughs> my name is Jill Noble. I work at NASA, and this is my story. My mom, she taught me many things growing up um, so that once I was out on my own that I could be independent and do the same things as a person who could see. And because my interests are in computers and math and science, I wanted to try to work here. The thing that I like most about my job is working with people. As an IT specialist, I order equipment for people in our area. I talk to them and go through the process and let them know what is available out there. I actually do testing of surveys, uh, websites, different applications, things that are purchased by NASA. I actually uh, test to see if those things are compatible with adaptive computer technology. One of my most memorable moments at NASA was when a friend of mine asked me to volunteer with the Habitat for Humanity project. And he gave me an assignment and he asked me if I would be able to handle cutting drywall tape. And so I worked on that and, and was able to do that. And it was because it was very tactile. It was so, something that I could do easily. So that was really a, a neat experience. And part of that is because I really enjoy volunteering. And it's a way for me to give back because there are a lot of volunteers that help me out in my life. The advice that I would give to the next generation would be to work toward and strive towards having really good grades in school and focus on math and science because they're very important. I feel that sometimes people make a bigger deal out of not having vision than they need to. And I've actually referred to my vision loss many times as an inconvenience sometimes rather than a disability. Do I have challenges? Absolutely. Do other people have challenges? Absolutely. What you have to do is accept those things that you can't change and work on the things that you can. This is not a dress rehearsal. We are in the play. So we have to keep on moving forward and keep a positive attitude and keep on going. My name is Jill Noble and I work at NASA.